but you cannot be scrolling through your phone as soon as you wake up, rolling out of bed after snoozing your alarm 50 times in a row, drinking a sugary chocolate mocha frappuccino latte first thing in the morning, and wonder why you feel so stressed and anxious throughout your day. And I'm calling you out, girly pop, because this used to be me too. So no judgment here, but I'm here to let you know that as someone who used to never have a morning routine, I'm talking woke up at the most random time, would literally rush to class five minutes after waking up, pulling up with eye boogers still stuck in my eye, <laughs> chugging multiple cups of coffee just to get through my day. I cannot stress enough that how you start your day is so, so important. And if you're watching this, here's your sign to have a solid morning routine too. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing 11 healthy morning routine habits that will change your life. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Lena. I have a self-help series here on my channel where we discuss all things becoming your best self so if you're not subscribed already what are you doing okay what are you doing go subscribe right now First things first, we have to understand why having a morning routine is important in the first place because what are we doing all this for? <laughs> so I like to think of my morning routine as putting on my armor for the day. This is actually something I heard from the Jay Shetty podcast and basically you're taking intentional time out of your morning to fill your own cup, take care of yourself and feel protected from, you know, the unexpected events that might occur throughout your day, annoying people, customers, coworkers that you have to deal with. So when you have a morning routine, you are just more grounded and calm and you feel like you can handle it instead of being reactive and coming from this stressed place because that's how you started your morning. Also, starting the day doing things for you is so important because if you really think about it, throughout the day, you are giving all of your time and energy to literally everything and everyone else. School, your job, work, your kids, coworkers, customers. You are pouring into everyone else's cup but your own. So when you don't have a morning routine, you're just in this constant fight or flight mode. Instead of being calm and grounded and feeling confident to handle whatever life throws at you and humbles you with. <laughs> and disclaimer, it's all about creating realistic routines that work with you and your lifestyle. So this means you don't need a three hour long aesthetic morning routine like you see on social media. As long as you are doing habits to take care of yourself and fill your own cup, that's all that matters. So out of all these habits that I'm about to share with you, you could just choose whatever works with you and your schedule. Have a realistic, consistent alarm routine that works for you. You do not need to wake up at the butt crack of dawn if you don't want to <laughs> and if it doesn't align with your schedule. What's more important is that you are waking up at the same time consistently every day and you give yourself enough time to have a morning routine. So set your alarm at a set time that is consistent and works for your schedule. And you guys know that alarm that we have automatically set on our phones? Hold on, let me show you. Something about that sound literally makes me want to throw up. <laughs> that sound that we automatically have set on our phones, she gotta go. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that sound is literally the bane of my existence. When I would hear it, it would literally just ruin my day and just make me feel more stressed out. Change your alarm to a sound that you don't hate. <laughs> so this is my current alarm sound right now. Hey, 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 hey. Let me stop. It's called scavenger on the iPhone alarms, but it just sounds so much more like soothing. It's not a sound that I hate waking up to. And it's like a happy song. It makes me feel ready for my day. <laughs> Choose a sound that's more soothing to your ears. Maybe not something that's gonna just put you back to sleep, but a sound that you don't despise. And put it in a place where you have to physically get up to go turn it off. Not an alarm that when it goes off, you could just say, bestie, be quiet, and you can fall back asleep. So I actually have both because I'm a little extra. <laughs> I have an iPhone alarm and an alarm clock. So, you know, I got that double protection because I have lots of experience of telling my alarm to be quiet and oversleeping. Also, it's just nice to have my phone away from me, away from my bed, so I'm not tempted to scroll on it all night. And those of you who say that you just can't fall asleep, but you are scrolling for three hours all night on your phone, yes, I'm calling you out. <laughs> Set your alarm and put your phone away from you. Get sunlight in your eyeballs. <laughs> so as soon as I hear my alarms go off, I literally count down to myself, three, two, one, and I rip my covers off. And then I make a beeline to my window and I open up my blinds, let the sunlight in, and and even if there's no sunlight, I like to just open my blinds to cue my brain like, hey girl, it's time to get up and get our day started. <laughs> I also flip on as many bright lights as I can. So I go to my bathroom as I'm getting ready for my morning. I turn on that bright, bright light, yup. And for me, having that bright light just wakes me up. Also that jump scare reflection in the mirror of my morning crusty self <laughs> also helps to wake me up. Flipping on bright lights and getting sunlight in first thing in the morning, it's not because I'm trying to torture you, okay? <laughs> it's actually scientifically proven that it's beneficial for your morning routine. When you wake up in the morning, if it's still dark out, flip on as many bright lights in the house as you possibly can. Wake up your system. Everyone thinks blue light is 
is bad. Blue light is great in the morning and throughout the day if you want to be alert. But indirect light to your eyes sends a signal into the brain. It's setting up the time that you're going to go to sleep. That bright light in your eyes, ideally from sunlight, is going to stimulate multiple pathways in the brain and body that promote metabolism, positive mood, focus, etc. Any type of bright light, whether it's the sunlight or artificial bright light, get that sunlight in your eyes. Have physical wellness hacks. So for me, it's actually tongue scraping every morning. <laughs> Listen, I know this sounds nasty, but hear me out, hear me out. You know when you wake up and you have that like gunk on your tongue, that like white film? Yeah. That is bacteria accumulated from the night before. And when you don't clean that off your tongue and you just drink and you eat, you are ingesting that nastiness back into your system. And actually, fun fact, 90% of bad breath comes from the back of your tongue. And studies showed that tongue scraping is 30% more effective than just using a regular toothbrush. I got mine off of Amazon. It was like eight bucks. I'll have it linked in my description. So it literally takes me 30 seconds in my morning. It's like this weird looking metal tool. I just scrape a few passes on my tongue until the film on my tongue is gone. And voila, your tongue will feel brand new and squeaky clean. Now I I just can't go a day without it. Another bonus physical wellness tip is ice rolling. If you don't know, ice rolling actually stimulates your lymphatic system and it helps with blood circulation. It helps reduce puffiness, reduces muscle tension. Don't look at me, okay? I don't know all this information. Look at the scientists and the researchers. And honestly, for me, I don't think about the scientific benefits. I just do it because it genuinely wakes me up. <laughs> like the coldness of the ice feels so good on my face. And when I wake up, I wake up with the most puffy, bloated, dumpling looking face. <laughs> my face is like a balloon. And I feel like it just helps with that morning puffiness. And it only takes a few minutes if even that and I have it stacked this with the tongue scraping so I do both and they're both just such easy ways to keep my physical wellness in check in the morning and even if it's not tongue scraping or ice rolling as long as you're doing something any type of wellnessy thing for your physical health that benefits you do that make your bed every morning there are psychology studies that prove that this is beneficial making your bed helps boost productivity reduces stress levels and helps you feel more organized and when you take the intentional time to make your bed in the morning it's almost like you're sending a subconscious signal to your brain you are in control you are organized and you are ready to tackle the day ahead. And this is just such a small act of self-discipline that can really set the stage for a productive and successful day. I never leave the house without making my bed. And not only does it make my room look cleaner, but it also helps me not feel tempted to lay in it again. <laughs> Daily movement every morning. Any type of movement is amazing in the morning. And bonus points for you if that movement includes you being outside. So natural light helps your body produce more vitamin D, which is crucial for your immune and bone health. It also helps with your alertness. Morning light was proven to boost cognitive function, helps regulate your sleep patterns so you sleep better. And for for me, just getting outside and having movement just boosts my mood. Also, movement is gonna immensely help your digestion. If you think about it, your body needs some sort of movement after sleeping literally all night. So it's a great way to get your blood flowing and it's gonna help kickstart your digestion and have things moving smoothly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so movement does not mean I'm telling you to go run a full marathon first thing when you wake up. If you're someone that doesn't like to work out in the morning, that is totally fine. Daily movement can be you stretching for literally five minutes or walking for 15 to 20 minutes outside. An easy way to do this is if you take like the bus or the train to work. If it's not too far, maybe you could just get up earlier and walk instead. Walking your dog in the morning. All of that counts as movement. And what I like to do for daily movement, sometimes I like to work out in the morning or other times since I work from home, I like to go out and do work at a cafe to feel more productive. And so I'll walk like 30, 40 minutes to the cafe and treat myself to a coffee or tea and get work done. And so basically I'm being like triple productive. Hydrate every single morning. I cannot stress this enough. Overnight, your body becomes dehydrated because you literally have not taken a sip of water for the past seven, eight hours. So drink water as soon as you wake up will rehydrate your cells and it's gonna help your digestion just by getting things moving and a bonus tip I like to add lemon and sea salt to my water chef's kiss there's a bunch of research to show benefits for that I love drinking my lemon water every morning before any type of caffeine because if you didn't know caffeine dehydrates you <laughs> and I remember before when I didn't really drink water in the morning I would always have these like massive migraines in the middle of the day and that was my own doing <laughs> because I was not drinking enough water and I was only drinking caffeine follow the 90 minute rule before any caffeine this 90 minute rule changed my life you guys and so waiting 90 minutes before having any type of caffeine hit your system is super beneficial it's gonna help you with wakefulness it's gonna help you knock get that afternoon crash that we all get and you're gonna have less caffeine dependence because your body's gonna start relying on natural cortisol release instead of energy from your caffeine I used to always get that 2 3 p.m. afternoon crash like clockwork every single day but now that I follow the 90 minute rule I have not gotten one since another tip is to actually drink green tea green tea is so good for you it contains antioxidants helps boost your metabolism improves brain function enhances your mood and promotes your overall health without the negative effects associated with drinking tons of coffee and coming from a huge coffee lover okay 
okay? I'm that type of person. I can have multiple cups of coffee, no problem. <laughs> but also when I do that, I always notice that I feel way more anxious throughout my day. So instead of having multiple cups of coffee, I'll have one and I have some green tea. I personally love the morning ritual of making my coffee in the morning. Something about it just makes me so happy. So even though green tea is probably better than coffee, I am personally not compromising on drinking coffee. One thing I started compromising on though is having sugary coffee because that is gonna cause you to crash hard. It's also not the best for you. So now I just drink my coffee black or I add some oat milk or maybe a little bit of almond creamer if I'm feeling it. Limit screen time and listen to uplifting content only. So if you're watching this right now, one rule you have to promise to keep with me, absolutely no scrolling the first two hours of you waking up. Before it was just habit for me, I would wake up and the first thing I would do is check my phone, text people back, scroll through social media, and then I would wonder why I felt so stressed and anxious. And if you think about it, you are overstimulating your brain. Like we are not built to handle all that. So minimizing your screen time in the morning is really gonna help your sleep quality, reduce your stress level, less eye strain and mental stimulation. So instead what I like to do is listen to uplifting content. So this includes productive podcasts, self-improvement audiobook, uplifting positive music. Cause when you start your day listening and watching negative things, you are subconsciously gonna feel that way throughout the rest of your day. So in terms of podcasts, I highly recommend the Jay Shetty podcast and the Huberman Lab podcast, or you can listen to self-improvement audiobook. Faith is a big part of my life. So I also like to listen to Christian music in the morning. Basically anything that doesn't drain you mentally and puts you in this like negative mindset energy. I remember back when I was in college, first thing when I would wake up is I would check social media and I would check the news. And you know, the things you see on social media and the news is not the most positive. So the rest of the day, I just was in this like more negative mindset. So changing that and only listening to positive content only has changed my morning. Spend time with yourself every morning. So for me, the way I do this is journaling. I have talked about this so many times on my channel. Journaling changed my life. So I started journaling back when I was a freshman in college and this is when your girl was going through it. My mental health was definitely at the lowest it's ever been. I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression at the time. And instead of feeling that way and overthinking throughout my day, I started writing it down in the morning and this helped my mental health so much. And I still do it to this day every single morning. And it also really helped writing down things I was grateful for in my life because no matter what life is throwing at you or humbling you with, we all still have things that we should be grateful for. And it helps you just start your day on a more positive note. And I know that journaling can be kind of intimidating and confusing, especially if you're new to it. I remember when I first started journaling, I would stare for like 10 minutes at my journal at a blank piece of paper like, what am I supposed to do here? So I'm actually working on something super exciting for you guys. The real ones watching probably can guess what it is. And if you think you know what it is, comment it down below. Check the comments, I read all my comments. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm working on something really exciting and I can't wait to show you guys. Plan your day ahead and set intention. I used to just let my days pass me by, like, like day to day, not knowing what I was doing. And it's because I had nothing planned. And I also struggle with something called time blindness. And I cannot tell the difference between 30 minutes and three hours. <laughs> Planning your day ahead reduces your anxiety. It helps with time management. It's gonna improve your productivity and it's gonna give you a sense of direction and control over your life. So what I like to do is make a daily to-do list with time blocking to keep me in check. So on the left side, I write things to do and I time block my schedule. And on the other side, I put to remember. So any tasks throughout the day that I have to remember to do. So for example, I time block 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. workout, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. response to emails, response to comments, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. film a new video, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. edit a new video. And on things to remember, I'll put call mom, return packages, set up my dentist appointment, whatever. And I always do this after I journal and it literally takes like five minutes and it really helps me envision and set up my day with intention and get things done. Eat a balanced breakfast. So try to include like protein, healthy fats, fiber. So this also means you wanna avoid the sugary breakfast. Listen, as someone that has a sweet tooth, I know. <laughs> but you wanna avoid like sugary cereals, that yummy chocolate croissant, that chocolate mocha, vanilla, frappuccino latte. She has to go. <laughs> High sugar first thing in the morning is what's causing your afternoon crash. Try to replace it with whole foods, fruits, high protein foods. It's gonna help keep you full for longer and it's overall healthier for you. So tip, if you don't have time in the morning to make a full breakfast, you can always meal prep the night before. So back when I was in college, I would always do this. I would have my protein overnight oats ready for me in the fridge with my fruit already pre-washed. In the morning, I would just wake up, have my overnight oats, throw in my fruit, boom, five minute healthy breakfast, done. And my recent obsession lately has been chia seed pudding with some raspberries on top. You guys, it is so good. If you haven't tried it already, thank me later. So the night before I make my chia seed pudding, I have my fruits ready, already washed. And in the morning, I put it all together. I also like to make eggs in the morning for protein, maybe add an avocado for some healthy fats. There you go, a balanced healthy breakfast that keeps me full and keeps me energized. Another bonus tip that's been really helpful for me is eating your well-balanced breakfast before your morning coffee or tea. I used to just drink coffee on an empty stomach. 
It is not the best for hormonal balance and your gut health. According to research, when you drink coffee on an empty stomach, you are overloading your adrenals, whatever that means, <laughs> and sending a cortisol spike through your body. So I noticed that when I started drinking my coffee after my breakfast or even with my breakfast, I just feel a lot better and things are just moving very smoothly. Comment down below any morning routine habits that you like to do in your morning routine or if you want to start implementing some of the ones that I mentioned, let me know in the comments. Check the comments. I read all my comments. Also, if you're a real one, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Join the Instagram fam. I love you guys so, so much and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye guys. So